Well, the PGA Championship will be at Southern Hills Country Club in Tulsa in just three weeks. And now the city has a plan to improve the public golf courses in town. Yeah, it's all part of a new private-public partnership. News on 6 is Jonathan Cooper is live for us at Mohawk Park near 36th Street North in Yale with the details. Coop. Brian and Lori, the city says it'll match donations up to a million dollars, and the goal is to improve this course and Paige Belcher. As the eyes of the golf world prepare to focus in on Tulsa next month, city leaders are making a new commitment to the sport in town. This afternoon, Mayor G.T. Bynum and others announced new efforts to improve the four municipal golf courses in Tulsa, two at Mohawk Park and two at Page Belcher. We are immediately stepping up uh, our game when it comes to maintenance. The new public-private partnership and fundraising campaign will use both donations and city funds. The city council has approved matching donations up to a million dollars for capital improvements to the courses. That funding comes from the American Rescue Plan Act. Our challenge to the community was we want to make this $2 million in improvements in our facilities. Today, the PGA of America, through its foundation, PGA Reach, announced it will donate $250,000 to kickstart the campaign. The organization's goal is to provide inclusive programming and expand the game to new people. We're excited to see that come to life here in Tulsa through this important project. The city says renewed interest in golf during the pandemic has led to more business. In 2021, 111,000 rounds of golf were played at the four courses. And for the first time in a long time, the courses turned a profit. These new funds will go to major improvements on the grounds, including repairs to bunkers, cart paths, new sod, irrigation improvements, and bridge repairs. To donate, the city has set up a web page through the Tulsa Community Foundation. That page is tulsacf.org slash golf. Reporting live in Tulsa tonight, Jonathan Cooper, Oklahoma Zone News on 6.